moved from Mass Mutual to Transamerica or um, First Mercantile, which is a subsidiary of Mass Mutual. And the reason that we made the change, just so everybody understands what this all is, is because we took we take a look every year when it comes to four on chains and make sure that the fees are where they're supposed to be, that you're not paying more than you're supposed to, that you have the right investment line up, you have all the mutual funds that you could you know ever want to choose from, and uh, and whenever we took a look at that after I took over the plan about about a year and a half ago, saw that the fees were kind of high, and so we took the fees down from 2.13 percent down to 1.22 percent just by making the change, and that's a that's just a plan-wide, taking the investments that they were in, moving it over to like investments and what we saved. And that ended up coming out to almost $18,000 in savings for the whole plan uh, and just investment expenses. So we discounted everybody, everybody saving some money on what they're paying on their fund expenses. And then we also added some more funds to choose from. So on top of getting funds for less money, you also have a lot more to, to, to pick from. You can now go and specialize and this is something that you want, you want to call me on and I put cards out for everybody, but we added things like a healthcare fund and an energy fund. And it allows you to get a little more sector specific and all that stuff is just something to call me on and we'll talk about whether it's appropriate or not, uh, or not for you. Um, but across the board, it was a big upgrade for the plan. And Josh is going to tell us a lot about what the, uh, the differences are. Um, or, I mean, he's actually just going to explain how to, how to get online and, and log in and understand, you know, what the tools you have available to you are uh, with Transamerica. Uh, and with that, I'll just let Josh take it over from here. Great. Thanks, Jeff. Morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, <coughs> thanks. Let me apologize. I'm fighting a little something in my throat. Um, but uh, thanks for having me in for a few minutes this morning. As Jeff said, um, uh, Transamerica was uh, picked to take over your 401k plan, which is something we take very seriously. Um, for those of you who are currently in the plan, I know we have a mix of some people who are in the plan and then some people who are now eligible. So for those of you who are in the plan, we're done. The, mo the money has moved over. As you know, you didn't have to do anything. <clears throat> We've mapped you right over. So we're going to show you, once you get out of this room today, we're going to show you how to log on, view your account, and take advantage of some of those changes that Jeff mentioned. Um, first thing he said was everybody in here saves some money, and that's great. We're happy about that. Um, as you continue to grow, our cost is going to come down with you. So it's great that everybody saved about a percent. That's just more money staying in your retirement pockets. Um, today I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you the website, show you the tools, um, show you there's some people that are do-it-yourselfers. You, you just got excited with what Jeff said about being able to invest in energy and healthcare and all that kind of stuff. There's some of you that, you know, that kind of makes you uncomfortable, right? You don't, you, you don't feel comfortable making your own investment decisions. And don't worry, we have something for both of you. So if you want us to kind of manage something for you, we'll show you how to do that too. But there's a lot of tools up on the website that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to log in. But first of all, I mentioned nobody had to do anything, right? We map everything over. So we mapped over your information, your, your date of birth, your social, your, your address, so, we, so you didn't have to fill out any forms. We mapped you over into like investments, so however you were invested uh, before the change, you got mapped over into like investments. And the third thing that we mapped over is your deferral amount. So whatever you were putting into the old plan, that's what you're currently putting into the new plan. However, we want you to think about that. So the biggest problem that Americans have in 401k plans is not getting in. Actually, participation is really good. It's about 70%. The biggest problem that we have is for everybody who's in the plan currently, think to yourself, how much are you putting in? Most Americans, or when I do a meeting like this, most people in the room say, Josh, I don't remember. I, I, I picked that like five years ago, and I haven't really thought about it since. Well, that's the big problem. Right? Most of us are not saving enough. And I realize times are tight. We're not going to put away $18,000 in this 401k for most of us. But we can probably inch closer and maybe move up a percent or two. And I want you to think about that. Because anybody remember on your birthday, you used to get a piece of paper from the Social Security Administration. It says you've worked this many years and this is how much you made every year. And when you retire, you should have X amount a month. Remember that? You ever notice a lot of people in the room? We don't get that anymore. I don't get that anymore. I get one that looks like this. And I just emailed to Jeff. He'll have it in his office. But uh, I highlighted it because this is what mine says now. 
Now, however, the Social Security system is facing serious financial problems and action is needed soon to make sure the system will be sound for today's younger workers so they're ready for retirement. Without changes, in 2033, the Social Security Trust Fund will be able to pay only about 77 cents per dollar. Okay? So most Americans, sadly, most of the money they live off of in retirement is coming from Social Well, now there are more workers drawing broken. In 2033, it'll be able to pay 77 cents on the dollar. So, I told you, everybody, we mapped you, we mapped whatever you're currently doing into this new plan, so it's the same. Think about that. I'm going to show you a tool up here to help you, you know, if you're doing 4%, what would 5% look like? If you're doing 6%, what would 7% look like? So take a look at that because the government knows that this system is broken, which is why they're allowing us to put in more and more for ourselves. Any questions on that? Anybody, uh, anybody have fast food over the weekend? Anybody go to McDonald's? There you go. I knew somebody would. So a lot of people say, okay, Josh, I hear you. That, that was a good thing that you, you kind of opened my eyes, and maybe I am doing 4%, and maybe I can do 5 But how much should I be doing, right? How much is right for me, or how much should I have in retirement, okay? It's a difficult que question to answer, but let's just talk about food. And I'm not talking about fancy restaurants, I'm talking about McDonald's. How much does it cost to eat in retirement? Well, let's put some numbers around that. Let's say we live for 15 years, and let's say we eat every meal at McDonald's. Now, if we do that, we're probably not gonna live for 15 years, but let's say we make it through, <laughs> right? So five bucks a meal, right? So five bucks a meal, three times a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for 15 years. How much money is that? If I said 50 grand, am I high or low? Low? 100 grand, am I high or low? High? 150 grand, high or low? Getting there? It's about 182 and change. So, how much do you need in retirement? Well, that depends on what you want to do, but here's what I'm here to say. If you don't have 180 grand, you can't go to McDonald's. So everybody think about how much they're currently doing and see if we can't up that 1%, 2%, and make our lives a little better. On the screen is your website. This is live and ready to roll. The website address is ta-retirement.com. ta-retirement.com. And the 800 number, if you're more of an 800 number person, the 800 number is pretty easy. It's 800-401-TRAN. It's like Transamerica. For those of you who are in the plan, had money over at First Merck and it came over, again, nothing you have to do except go log on. So you go to ta-retirement.com, you hit first time user. There's only three pieces of information that you need. Your social, your date of birth, <coughs> and your zip code. Okay, That's all you need to do and you'll be able to log on. So I would go up here, I'd hit first time user, I would hit, I am an employee, guys, this is real easy. And this is where you put in your social, then your date of birth, then your zip code, and you're up and running. It'll ask you to make your own password and your own username so for security purposes. I didn't do that for you. Uh, it just takes you through those three questions and you're good to go, okay? I'm gonna pretend that I've already done all of that and show you, so then I would make my username and password and I'd put it right here. This is just a uh, dummy password. And you're on to the site. So let's say you just want a quick snapshot. You just want to see what's going on in your account. You want to see that your money's there. You want to see the funds that you're in. You just got five minutes and you just want to check things out. You would go to the account details screen. Think of this as your dashboard. If you only got two minutes and you want to check things out, this is the page that you would go to. Okay, so this has all your pertinent information. So here's your address. Go check this because a number could have been transposed, but make sure we have your right address. 
This is the amount that came over for you. This is the amount that you're currently putting in. Again, we just map that right over. Uh, this is where we break it up by your money and any money that Aon has ever put in for you. Uh, these are your investment options down here. So that is exactly what you were mapped into. So again, if you ever just have two minutes and you want to check things out, everything's kind of at your fingertips here. Going forward, every time your contributions are put in, so if you get paid twice a month, you're going to see the date that your money went in. Anytime you ever make a change to your account, which you can do anytime, again, Jeff passed his cards out, um, we're going to note the date that any change was made. So if you switch your funds, it's always going to say, hey, you did that on February 5th or whatever. So go check that out. Um, we're going to send you statements to your house every 90 days. So a paper statement will go to your house unless you click go paperless, and then we'll just email it to you. You get them a lot quicker if you do that. Uh, the fund options are right here. Anytime you want to get more information about a fund, you just click it, and a full sheet on everything that's going on with that fund will pop up. Okay, so that's always at your fingertips. Let's say uh, some of you want a statement more often than 90 days. <laughs> you put a statement on demand every time. Just put in a start date, end date, hit calculate. We'll give you a statement every week, every day if you wanted it. Okay. So this is a really easy way, if you got five minutes, just want to check things out, that's your page. Now we talked about changing our contributions, right? So some of you, in my example, you don't remember what you're putting in. You picked that a long time ago and, and life happened and, and you may say, wow, 3%, that's all I'm doing? I could probably do a little bit more than that. Here's how easy it is. You click change contribution. I say I want to go from 3% to 6%, and then guys, everybody listen real quick. So increasing your contribution or remembering what you're doing or, or when you get a raise, you know, bumping that up, you never have to think about that again. All I want you to do is click the easy button. If you click right here, in my scenario, I will take you from 3 to 6%, but I'm going to say and increase what I'm doing by 1% each year and you can even cap it to let's say 15% and I want you to do that every July. Here's your easy button. Now you never have to think about it again. You'll never remember you did that and you will never feel that increase. This is the way to automatically increase our contributions every year as we get close to retirement. If you can do that, one, even just 1% 1 a year, and even put a cap on it if you want to, this is a great way for us to increase what we're doing, and it's going to be out of sight, out of mind. Yeah? While you're on that page, yeah. I 